Hello guys, welcome to my new office. It's much bigger than my former office. It's actually just another room from the same flat, but it, it's much bigger and it gives enough space so I can put this table here and I can do uh, some stuff that I want to show you because today I want to talk about bags, photographic bags. Since I made the video with the um, Leica M240, I've been receiving the same question, what bag are you using? And it's a question that has been repeated over and over in different videos every time I come up with a bag and I, I, it, it, it's, it's shown on screen. So I want to show you all the bags that I have um, right now because I own other bags, but these are the bags that I have with me and how do I use them, when do I use them, what do I think about each one of them, which one's my favorite and so on. So without further ado, let's go! Now the first bag that I want to talk to you about is this one. This is not a photographic bag, this is just a bag. This is a regular, normal bag. I bought this in Germany uh, in 2012 and it served me well. It's, I, I've used it extensively as you can see. Uh, and even though it's not a photographic bag, I really like it. It has a nice size and it's, it's comfortable to wear. It's, it's, it's not too heavy, it's okay. And the best part of it all the cameras, for example, uh, the Leica, I usually measure my, my camera bags with a Leica because this is the camera that I usually have. Either this or the M8 are the cameras that I carry around most of the time. So if this camera fits in here comfortably, then for me it's a, it's a good enough bag so I can use it. Um, which means that pretty much any bag is useful. But this, this particular bag, I've used it extensively because it fits pretty comfortably. I like the fact that even though the, the camera is here, I still have enough room to spare so I can put a book in here. I love reading on the way to meetings or when I have to commune or when I have to go somewhere or meet with someone. I usually, not usually, I'm lying, I always carry a book with me. So that's, that's useful. Um, so if I can just take out the book and if there's nothing interesting to shoot and then when, when, when I arrive or when I see something interesting I put the book in again and I take the camera out. So this is a nice bag for that. Basically any bag that's big enough can hold this. This doesn't hold my laptop though, so it's not a laptop bag at all. So if you're looking for a simple bag, something like this, it's quite useful and I, I usually use this guy when I move around. Moving on to the next camera bag. This is a camera bag that I bought on a yard sale. It cost me $2 and it, it, it doesn't really cost $2. I was really lucky to buy it at that price. Um, this has been my, I'll call it my riot bag. This is the bag that I use every time I go to riots or I have to make some photojournalist kind of approach because it's really sturdy and it can, I have been knocked off by the police and I have fainted and my camera equipment just falls to the ground and this has been protecting all my equipment really well. It's padded, it's, it's not heavy, it's actually super light. Um, it's, a, it's a great camera bag, it's super sturdy, it's a low pro. It's a, I mean, it's, you can't go more pro than a low pro. Um, it's really comfortable actually. You can carry it around and it's not really heavy. And the best part of it is that it not only holds a Leica, I mean every single camera bag can hold a Leica, it can hold up to two Leicas actually. I can put uh, the M3 and the M8 here, um, but it also holds another camera that is much more difficult to hold. This camera bag can actually hold the Mamiya C330. So that's a big achievement in my book. You just put the Mamiya here and boom, that's it, comfortable enough. Um, you can close it and carry it around. It's, it's really uh, convenient. I have used this bag to carry around the Hasselblad. I have used this bag to carry around pretty much every single camera. I'm not a big fan of carrying around more than one lens. If, if it's too much, I carry around two, but it's, it's not usual that I do that. So for me, a camera bag that holds just the camera and the lens that's attached to the camera, it's good enough. So this is a really good camera bag. If you're looking for taking pictures around the city or if you're going on a travel and you're unsure uh, if you're going to find some complications in the terrain or it's going to be some rain or there's going to be some problems, you can use this bag. This is not 
this is not uh, weatherproof, meaning if it rains, I mean, it's going to permeate, but um, it's good enough to carry around. In fact, the little hack trick that I used in this one, um, I had this thing, I, I had a gas mask around this one uh, because during the protest, usually they throw tear gas. So I was running around with my camera bag and some gas mask and, and taking pictures. So that might tell you and give you a good idea of how durable this is. It looks brand new and this camera bag has uh, received a lot, a lot of beatings. So if you're looking for a durable camera bag, this might be the one for you. So moving on to one of the big questions that a lot of people have asked on my channel, what camera bag is this one? Where did I got it? Can I get one of these? Actually, I have no idea. The best way to get one of these is eBay. Now I bought this camera bag. This is an Akko, A-K-O, Akko. And I bought this guy in Mauerpark in Berlin. Now, unless you're willing to go to Berlin and wait on the Mauerpark, which is a secondhand flea market, market in Berlin, unless you want to do that and take chances, the best and safest way is to look around on eBay Germany. Um, they sometimes appear and they're, they're not really common, but they're not super uncommon either. This cost me like uh, 12, I don't know if 12 or 15 euros, but it wasn't much more than that. And it has a really nice finish. It's fake leather. It's not real leather. It's plasticky, which is something that I like since I'm, I'm vegan, I don't like having uh, leather things, but this is really comfortable. It's padded and it feels uh, like a pretty well. It actually fits it super nicely and comfortable. You can um, not only put a Leica in here or any other camera, it, it can also hold, it can hold the um, M3, it can hold my M8 with a grip, which is pretty impressive. I can even put the Hasselblad x pan inside this guy. So that's pretty interesting. Usually when I use this bag is when I'm shooting the shoot film episodes. The reason for that is, if you notice, I can put the camera in here, uh, then I can put in here all the batteries that I need. I can put an extra lens in case I need it. And here I usually put the EOS M. So all the equipment for a shoot film episode fits in this bag and it's, it's super comfortable, it's light, um, it, it doesn't draw as much attention as the other ones. If you go around the city and you see somebody with this camera bag, you know it's a camera bag, you know there's a, an interesting camera in here. This looks like an advanced user kind of camera bag. This seems like, oh my god, there must be a 5D Mark III inside. This looks like an old retro hipster camera bag, uh, probably it's just a cheap film camera. I don't think if I'll go after this one. I mean, I'm not a thief, but if I were, I'll, I'll, I'll be drawn to this thing and not this thing. As I said, the only way to get one of these is eBay, um, unless you know where they sell it. I have no idea if Akko still sells these things or where the hell the camera factory is. I don't know, if you know anything about that, you can leave some answers in the comment section, we can all learn, but from what I know, I just bought on a flea market and you can get one of these online. Now I'm gonna talk about my current favorite camera bag and it's this one, it's a Hasso. I'm not really fond of the color. Oh, shit, did you see that? I really, really, really like this one. I'm not a big fan of the color, but I wish it was black or like a lighter blue, like a sky blue, it will be much nicer. But it's, it's this navy blue kind of, eh. Now it's not the aesthetics that I'm into with this camera bag, it's more about the functionality. The reason why I'm a big fan of this camera bag is because this guy is a mixture of all these other bags and I'll tell you why. On this one I could put the camera and a book or two books that I'm reading, but on these other ones I can't put a book, there's no space for that. But on this camera bag I actually can. I open it like this and I can put a book in here. So if I'm reading like a small novel or a small essay or a regular book, I can just put it here and it comfortably fits and I can carry it around with me and it's not moving around and it's not getting damaged as it happens with this guy. If I put a camera in here and a book, sure, they fit, but they juggle around and they move and usually the books end up with dents and stuff. I don't mind, I don't like my books to look brand new, but I don't, look, I don't like them to look like crap either. So even though this is a nice way of doing that, this is a much nicer way. So this one is out of the way now. Second, this is really, really padded. This is thick. It's like, 
it's a thick camera bag, you can tell, and, and, and it holds a lot of beating and it's really sturdy. You can, you can tell it's really sturdy. I don't know if you can like kick it around or throw it from the second floor, but, but if you don't abuse it, I can say it's pretty durable. I don't know if as durable as this one, but it feels pretty much as padded. Not, not that much, but it's, it's good enough to carry some delicate equipment. So I guess this one's out of the way. And the biggest thing that I like about this camera bag is that it has pretty much the same distribution as this one. So if I open both camera bags, I can see that the distribution is pretty much the same. The difference is this camera bag is a little bit bigger. So while on this camera, I can put that camera, the batteries, one lens in here, right? And the EOS M on this one, I can put the camera, a flash, the another lens, the EOS M, and I still have here space for the batteries and the microphone. So yeah, this camera bag can hold up all these things in a flash. And this is very important when you go to, I mean, when I go to weddings or when I have some assignments or when I just want to carry a flash with me. It's not uncommon that the Leica M8 suddenly can keep up with the lack of light because I mean, I've talked about this a lot of times, but it holds up decently up to ISO 320. So if it's darker than that, a flash really comes in handy. I'm currently using this Canon 540E SIT on the Leica M8 and it works like a charm. It's perfect and it, I can carry it in here. So what can I say? To me, this camera bag is the best camera bag that I have. Um, I got to it by an accident. I, was, I wasn't actually looking for a camera bag because I was super happy with this one because I could fit basically the things that I need to record. But now I found this one that also holds up a flash and I can carry books inside. Man, that's like magic to me. And it's not that heavy. I mean, it's, it's padded and it's not as light as the Akko one, but come on, it's not that terrible. And it, besides, it feels nice. It's, it's comfortable. I can carry it around all day, basically. Um, it does not hold a Mamiya C330 at all and it cannot hold a Hasselblad either. But if you just want to carry around your DSLR or your SLR or um, a rangefinder or any other smaller camera that is not medium format, something like this might be a good option. I don't exactly know where you can find this specific model, but if you look for Hasso on the internet, on eBay or yeah, I guess eBay is your safest bet. So try to look for this one if you're looking for a camera bag. This will be my suggestion. I'm not, I'm not telling you what you should do, but I think this one is a nice uh, camera bag if you're looking for one that is discreet and it can suit your needs. If you're like me and you like reading on the way to somewhere or you like just having all your stuff in one thing and just pack your things and go to an assignment, I think this one is a really good option. So yeah, this is my recommendation of camera bags. And now before leaving, I want to Thank you so much because my book, uh, I don't know if I, I haven't talked about this on the YouTube channel, truly. Now, if you only follow me on YouTube, you have no idea about this, but I made a book and it's called The Parade of Strangers and it was for sale on my Etsy shop. I made 50 copies and I was expecting it to sell little by little and then uh, upload a video about, you know, the behind the scenes and what it was like to make the book and whatnot. But uh, contrary to my expectations, the book sold within four days, so I have no more copies. I just sent them on the mail today. Um, but if you're interested, I will probably make a second edition. Not now, it will probably be in, in, in a few months. But so you know, it exists and I want to give a big thank you to everyone who purchased this book. I, I really like it. I'm super proud. It's my personal selection of my favorite photos from the 30 Rolls in 30 Days project. So I'll give you a, a quick glance of how it looks like. It has some writings that I did and some insights about the project. Ba, 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 ba. So yeah, thanks a lot to all of you who purchased my book. Thanks a lot to all of my patrons because you guys are not only awesome, but you also help me to keep buying new stuff and try it out and give you my impressions about it and then give it away. So I'm super thankful for everything you're doing for me and it's been an amazing ride and I hope to see you next week with a shoot film episode 
And that's all I have to say. Until next week then. Keep shooting, guys.